safety topics this morning. On each side of the bus, there's an emergency exit window. If you need to get off the bus at any time and I can't help you, could be non-emergency, you flip that red handle to the left and you can push those doors open. Everybody should have on a seat belt, especially this front seat. You have to have one on you. Yep. The two behind me in the very back row. This road can get really rough. And if we've had people hit their heads in the back and bloody their heads and we've had to leave the park to go to the clinic. Not on my tours yet, um, but that has happened. My name's Leanna, I go by Lee. I asked you guys to help me look out for wildlife. So if you see anything at all, you're not even sure what it is, just holler out stop and we'll stop and check it out. If you have any questions, I love questions. If I don't have the answer, I'll find it out for you before the end of the trip today, okay? A little bit about West Yellowstone, it's 694 acres. Sorry, we'll turn that off now. It started out as a railroad town and now it's definitely a tourist town. Um, I think you're coming in the winter, it's really the best time to see Yellowstone. I mean, there's no crowds. You're, you're just going to see the best of it, I think, this season. Do you live in town? Full time? No, I'm actually what's called a work camper. I travel around in my RV. I drive at Glacier during the summer here at Yellowstone in the winter, and I have a couple of months of shoulder season on either side that I just travel around. However, um, this winter I'm in an apartment here. Uh -huh. You have a fifth wheel or just trailer? Um, I have a fifth wheel, and then I also have a van okay. that I'm doing a conversion on. Ah. So the vans would be this winter and we're just, we were able to get an apartment this winter. You've wintered in your fifth wheel? Oh yeah. How's it stand up? Oh, really good. Yeah, good. Because the biggest thing about wintering in your RV would be the outside water connections. Yeah. And those are inside because it's a four season. Oh, that's good. My wife and I have talked about doing that. We're yeah. camping, same thing. Yeah, I've been in negative 41 in that camper. It's been fun. Here's some of the original vehicles that used to travel and well they still travel into the park. They're called bombardiers and they're on tracks and skids in the front. What a cute little Well, stopped at Gibbon Falls and take a look at a few things here. It's been gorgeous so far. Really nice. Heavy snow that has now petered off to just, I don't even think you can see it on the camera. It's gorgeous. Probably hear the falls all shut up.
Go ahead. A rare sighting. to mud volcano two of the features there one is the mud volcano and the other one's um, the dragon's mouth and it actually makes noise and steam comes out of it and one of the native american tribes the kiowa k-i-o-w-a that's their creation myth their creation story and they believe that they came from the dragon's mouth here in yellowstone Absolutely beautiful here. First time Yellowstone in winter. Can't recommend it enough. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all white. I'll let you enjoy it. Well, now we're walking down to the uh, Norris Geyser Basin. It has started to uh, started to snow again. A bit on the cold side, and uh, let's be at it. Last time we were here, middle of summer, beautiful. Now it's even more so. Diane, Lori, hello. Well, that thing's gotten bigger since the last time we were here. Yeah, has it's it? Taken, it's yeah, it's, it's, it used to be just over here. So now over there it's taken away some part of the uh, part of the path. I know during the summertime you can walk around. So honey, what? you having fun? Yep. Lori, you having fun? Having a blast. 